I think that camera angle they have that's showing the heads when they stand up and it shows their midsection and their groin, I think they should definitely be staying seated. <laughs> Just get yeah, awkward real quick. Sit in there. down, sit down, yeah. Uh, we're going to move on to our next story this morning. It's about Portland's <laughs> nicknames. The city has many, but this morning we're focusing on one of them. It is Bridge City. Mm -hmm. It is a uh, well earned nickname because the city has 12 different bridges that span the Willamette River. Now, our producer, I don't know if you heard this, uh, Christine, our producer Casey McCabe says we're a little light on time, so he was hoping you could quickly rattle off all 12 bridges. <laughs> How about I put that on you? <laughs> I'll give that to you. Uh, you're very good. He didn't say that. He said we actually must move on. So uh, okay. tell us who's covering this story yeah. this morning. Well, you know as well as I do, Devin Haskins live near the Fremont <laughs> Bridge, giving us a look back in time when it was being built. Morning, Devin. Yeah, good morning, guys. The Fremont opened November 15th, 1973. So here we are 50 years later. I can hear you guys laughing still uh, at that. Um, so here we are 50 years later. First people actually crossing it. Weren't the cars when it opened? It was a bunch of people. It's still covered in the original paint since the day it opened. Color known as celery green. The Fremont Bridge connects North Portland with Northwest Portland via 405. It took four years and cost $82 million to build the bridge, a project that captivated many. This 902 foot long mid-span arch was floated down the Willamette River and hoisted 170 feet into the air, taking more than two days to do so. And when the bridge opened in 1973, 35,000 cars drove across that opening day. Today, more than 101,000 cars drive across it daily. And if you look at it from afar or as you drive across, it's hard not to notice what waves up high. Both the United States and Oregon State flags stand almost 400 feet in the air above the river, those flagpoles wouldn't be installed until three years after the bridge opened for the nation's centennial. But what happens when the governor or president orders flags to be lowered or they need to be replaced? Well, that job belongs to ODOT workers who make the steep climb inside the arch's walls to reach the platform above. Oh, I like it, yeah, it's fun, yeah, I enjoy it. Not a lot of people can say they've you know, come up on top of the Fremont Bridge before, it's kind of, it's a neat part of the job. In this archive video from 1996, KGW News went up through the hollow walls of the Arch Bridge to watch them change out a flag. The bigger you are, the harder it is, I think, too. <laughs> video taken by ODOT recently shows off the names of those that have also made the climb before. A steep climb through 21 portholes before reaching the top. And if you're good, ODOT says it takes about 20 minutes to get to the top. The Fremont would remain Oregon's newest Portland area bridge for 42 years until the Telecom Crossing opened in 2015. So at the beginning of that, I said it was painted in celery green, and it's also never been painted in 50 years since it opened. So if you get an up-close look, you may notice there is some discoloration or some uh, rust on there. As far as the cost of the bridge, I said $82 million. ODOT says it would cost more than that if they wanted to repaint it today. Back to you. Ooh, expensive. I understand why it looks like it looks yeah. then. Devin, interesting story. Thank Wait, you. Well, did he say it would cost more to paint it today than it did to build it? <laughs> I understand that, right? Pretty much. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Inflation. <laughs>